while the language we speak on the streets of our cities is by its very nature changeable and shifting. For decades, Bill LaBoff and his colleagues have been studying how Americans talk. The result is a whole library of recorded voices and a fascinating discovery. It's called the Northern City's Vowel Shift. LaBoff believes there's a revolutionary shift in the pronunciation of short vowels that have been relatively stable for a thousand years. What we'll be looking at is this mass of cities around the Great Lakes. Uh, here we have Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, and Cleveland, Detroit. How many people is that? It's about 34 million people. This area used to be the closest to network pronunciation. It was what the NBC standard was based on. And today, uh, it is moving further and further away. Let's go into that in some detail. Let's show us how that's happening. In these experiments, we played, first of all, an individual word. Black. And then people had to write down what they thought they heard. So you can do that yourself. What do you hear? Black. And then, in another series, they heard... Living on one block. Now what do you hear? Block. Well, you change your mind and... Old senior citizens living on one block. This person is saying the word block the way they say black. So we can the shift in this one vowel seems to have a domino effect on the other four vowels, and they all change too. The result can be serious misunderstandings. Now, this is spectacular. Bosses. Everybody writes down what? Bosses. Right. The guy. Yeah. The bosses with the antennas. <laughs> and now you begin to wonder, wonder what uh, are these the bosses, bosses with the, with the antenna, antennas right. are carrying? I can remember vaguely when we had the bosses with the antennas on the top. So bosses has become bosses. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so this is very hard for most people to recognize. So is it fair to say that North Americans are in different regions, are going, growing further apart from each other linguistically. It seems so. It's hard to believe everyone says to us, we all watch the same radio and television, how can that be? That's a very surprising finding. 